threading the sewing machine. Remember, never talk to anyone while you're operating a sewing machine. And never talk to anyone who is operating a sewing machine. Here's a school sewing machine. Here's the presser foot. And a needle. Here are some length and width indicators, which I will explain later. There are two parts to threading the sewing machine. First, the top thread. Second, the bobbin, which goes underneath. The two types of stitches loop together as the machine sews. Remember, make sure the machine is switched off at the wall before you start threading. To thread up the top, take your reel of thread and put it on one of the spools. It should unwind very easily and smoothly when you tug a little on the end of the thread. Pull it along the back and hook it on the first metal loop here. Bring it over the top of the machine through the channel here. It goes straight down from the channel and gets hooked again here. Travelling straight upwards, hook it over the lever here and back down again. Don't forget to tuck it over the little piggy tail hook right at the top of the needle. Just to recap, that's round the back, over the top, down, up, down. It should make an M shape from the front if you've done it right. Now you need to thread it through the eye of the needle from the front to the back. Hook the thread through the presser foot and pull a nice long tail out the back. Now for the bottom. This needs a bobbin and a bobbin case. The bobbin drops neatly into the case and should turn smoothly in an anti-clockwise direction when you tug on the thread. You need to pull it through this minute channel here and then under this metal plate until it is coming out through the window in the side of the bobbin case. Use this little retractable handle to manoeuvre the case onto the spool inside the bobbin door. Push it in until you can't turn it anymore. Now for the magic bit. Hold the thread from the top so that it is a little bit taut, not tight, and turn the hand wheel gently towards you until the needle goes right down and then comes up again. If you're lucky and it works first time, when you pull gently on the top thread, a loop of bobbin thread will emerge magically from the bottom. Use scissors or a pin to grasp it and pull the thread through. Now you are ready to sew. Make sure that a plain running stitch is selected. The stitch length selector is about in the middle, not too long, not too short. Put your foot on the foot pedal. Remember, when you put your foot down, the machine will sew faster. So if you want to slow down or stop, lift your toe off the pedal. Put the fabric under the presser foot. Put the presser foot down. This is operated with a lever at the back. Never sew with the presser foot up or you'll get in a tangle. Guide the fabric in the right direction. You don't need to pull it. The sewing machine moves the fabric itself. Now try a zigzag. Reset the stitch type at the top. Reset the stitch width indicator so it's nice and wide. That's a bit long. Reset the stitch length indicator to nice and short.
that's better. Now secure your stitching by sewing a short distance backwards and forwards again. You do this by pushing up the stitch length indicator to go back and dropping it down again to go forwards once more. Make sure your needle is clear of the fabric before you release the presser foot and pull out your handiwork. Always leave a nice long tail of thread out the back. 